Good morning, Vietnam. What's going on, buddy? How are we feeling today? It's a bummer. It's a bummer, eh? Still same shit. Same shit. Nobody's gone to war yet? Living in a ghost town. Yeah, seriously, there's nobody here. It's all empty. Feel like the end of the world? Nah. Not yet. Maybe the end of this place. <laughs> yeah, huh? Door didn't even stay closed anymore. Look at this. See all the dust here. When there is a bombing, like a tank shooting or something else, all the walls and everything is shaking and the dust fall off the roof. I'm really waiting for the time that our normal life will be back. All this shit that's happening now is just uh, depressing me. Too much, do, you know? do you think it's gonna happen? I don't think it's gonna happen. You think we're gonna go to war? Yeah. This place is gonna even look worse, huh? War is not fun. Seems that the, the other side doesn't give us any any other option. This is the center of our operation, but nowadays it's all look like a wreck. I don't know. It's all empty, eh? Usually so there's parties going on in here. Yeah. Used to be it's the last few months. Sometimes it was very risky to to be here. Yeah. Because of the, you know, this mountain up here. Everything up here. Lebanon, yeah? Yeah. So they can all look down on you basically from right up here. Yeah. So everything right here is pretty much just exposed. Yeah. Like the military won't hang out right here. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the plan today, man? push a few strays that left behind in the pasture that they want to clean the, there won't be any cows left there I still have these three pastures that uh, have fences over there I may be able to, to work there most of the land now is not, not uh, for cows it's for the army you know and we can't keep on running after the army and fixing the fences and yeah because their pri their priority is to basically make sure that there's security up here yeah so right now it's they're they're basically taking down fences cutting up your land too so basically the situation is that it's hard to kind of keep keep everything See, in order places like this that they just uh, drive with the tanks yeah so that's basically like a break in your fence. So, so when they do that, they don't even they don't even notify you, obviously, which means that your cows are then running all over the place. Yeah, this bunch of cows that we're about to move, well, they are still out there. But uh, I'm thinking if it's a good thing to bring them home also, feed them, or uh, left them outside grazing. Yeah. Still got uh, about uh, 120 cows that are missing. Are missing, yeah. I don't know where are they. You know, this is uh, <clears throat> this is our business. This is uh, your livelihood. This, yeah, this is what's provide my family uh, everything, and uh, I have nothing else, you know. Yeah. And I'm witnessing everything just falling, falling apart. apart. Yeah pretty much and it's uh it isn't like the government's gonna pay you or anything uh, not built on it yeah yeah so right there you just kind of letting the army know that, that we're gonna be riding around here yeah what we do now, normally we will go to a different place. But now we need to make sure that we're not exposed too much. 
So we're gonna park the, uh, the car in a place which is not exposed to Lebanon. We're gonna walk away from, from that point. All your land is, is on the border, pretty yeah. much. And the biggest threats is like uh, anti-tank missiles. Yeah, which is tanks and snipers. Yeah. There were a few occasions that they, they, I don't know if they knew that it's a civilian, but a few civilians uh, have already died on the frozen yeah. border. Yeah. Oh, oh hell yeah. Don't talk about. Let's go. So you see the houses up there? Yeah. This is a village called Bladed. They shoot uh, anti-tank missiles from there, from the houses. I don't know, I guess they know me. <laughs> what, uh, what season are we in? This is the beginning of winter. Yeah. We got, uh, this year we got uh, an early rains. So uh, it's looking pretty good. Hopefully we will get plenty of grass this summer. Yeah. Although we hope that the situation will change yeah. in the summer because otherwise it won't help if we will have uh, plenty of grass and it will all get, get dry and then from the missiles it's burned, you know? Yeah. So it's also right now it's like the crucial time for all what, whatever is growing right now. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Think I could jump horses? I wasn't here before. Oh shit. You got content in the middle of your field. I hope the cows won't get stumbled on this. In the shoe. Look at all the trash that left behind, huh? So basically, if you would ask permission from someone to be here right now, they won't let us. Because it's declared a military zone, pretty much. Yeah. So if you think about, like, from Metula all the way to Roshanikra. Yeah. Pretty much everything on the Lebanese border is the whole military zone. So you saw, you, you see where there is, a, like, a white line up on this hill. It used to be, I have their uh, corral. And... Uh, right. Now it's all damaged. They built a protection wall. Yeah, that uh, corral. Uh, I see a bunch of them over there. Maybe we will push them from this way and not taking them all the way down. Yeah, behind this uh, wall is Lebanon. Basically, you're gonna push them that way, go up and then cross the road. Uh, we just want to get them over to the other side. Cattle coming through here. Tom's pulling them down from the top. Okay, I'm the parrot for the mall. I'm going to get off the cliff to the kibbutz. I'm going to go up the path and up the tallem of the mall. The mall is still there. I'm just going to shoot them as they go up the tallem. They're taking their shots at the kibbutz. They're all coming down from right there. You got to push them all over. Push them over there. But it looks pretty happy today. Looks like you did all the work, man. <laughs> hey, you know where to find them. Want to push them across the street or keep going down? And then just let them go?
מה קורה, גיבור? כן, מי אמר לך? אני... שים לב את הכמה פרות האחרונות שנשארו. טוב. אחלה טעה. רפי. קשור מהצבא. אמרו לנו לעוף מפה. כן. כאילו, הפריע להם... הפריע להם יותר שהיינו שמה. Yeah, they just call me. Yeah. Why, why should we get the f*** out of here? I don't see anything dangerous going on. I see that there is a, uh, a special, uh, special threat for us, but now we're safe. I'm working, man, I'm working. I go and open the gate at the corner. Hey! I don't know what. I don't know what. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I think I won. I think the winners get a beer or something, man. Oh, look who's been hanging out in the truck. Trying to dance, aren't you? Good job, boys. That was fast. It was fast. That's what she said, too. <laughs> and so we were up there riding on the fence line. Yeah. And then they called you from, uh, from, the, you from know, one of the outposts up in the military bases? Yeah, they, have, they got all these cameras and, and drones that uh, monitor everything that's going on. What's going on, yeah. So they noticed <laughs> two idiots riding horses in the middle of a war. They didn't realize which, There's side, a war. which side they are. <laughs> they claim that they spot. Uh, immediate threat on us from Lebanon. Interesting. They just basically told us to get the hell out of there. Yeah. Threat so meaning what? Like snipers? Yeah. Like anti-tank? Yeah, you know they have like these uh, two to three main units that they are uh, hiding in the bush. Let's talk about this for a second. What's your relationship with the army? Like what do you... Do you have conversations with them daily? Do you let them know when you go out there? Like what's that look like? So uh, I know that uh, I need to make them aware of my being here. Yeah. Uh, but on the other hand, I can't ask them for permission 
every time I want to do something. Yeah. Then I won't be able to do nothing. Yeah. So I'm kind of uh, walking on the between the lines, you know, of uh, putting myself on a risk. But as someone who live here, live here, and and, and get I have the feeling of what's going on, and yeah, you know, some days I I, I know that it's not a good day to be out there. But you still do it. Uh, yeah, but also I know, I think, I believe I know where, like the, where the good spots are. Yeah. And uh, so, because, you know, I, I have the, I, I trust myself and I trust, I know this area yeah. very good. And I know where is the risky spots. Yeah, where they're exposed spots and where they're not. You guys are hanging out in the bush. Tell me something like if, if people wanted to come out and you know help out and stuff like that, would you uh, kind of give them an invitation? Yeah, to come out? I would like to have people coming here, and show them, and you know maybe help have some help with the stuff that we need to do now, and also visit and see firsthand how it's life here in the cattle ranches that are along the border.